Hello there, Aries. You guys, thank you all ever so much for joining me for your time. Let's love reading. Let's see channeled messages to start with from your person. What do they want to tell you right now? I hate that. I hurt you. You didn't deserve this. Please don't blame yourself. It was my fault. So someone's taking culpability for their actions. Maybe they haven't been. Um, I tried to replace you, but it didn't work out because I'm adding love with you and I was fighting it. I know this is divine. So maybe they are also understanding the imperativeness of this connection. But by this, I mean, you know, this person is realizing that it's more than meets the eye, right? My finances are a mess. I've made bad decisions. I'm in the process of uh, turning things around. And I know you're my soulmate, babe. Your, uh, our bond is magnetic. I'm seeing all the signs. So this person is definitely getting a great deal of synchronicities regarding the connection. You didn't part with my shit. You crushed my big ass ego, but that made me respect you even more. So I don't know if this is some type of trauma bond taking place here between the both of you. See how that resonates with your situation. Um, if you ask me, I will say yes. Whatever this may refer to, you know better. This may be talking about the fact like whether it's uh, no contact situation or whether that's, you know, something else. This person would say yes if you did ask them something. So see again how that this may resonate with your situation. I recognize the potential between us, but I also harbor some uncertainties. So this person has doubts. You have doubts, of course. I know you're my soulmate. Wowzers. And I'm totally in love with you. Oh my God. What's going on here? Okay, someone's deaf because that love thing has come out twice here as well. Wow. Aries, you're lucky, ain't ya? <laughs> you're very lucky. Well, it depends who this person is, but let's just get some cards on freestyling. There's no specific spread this time. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe for more. Wow. Three or ones, I actually thought that was the Ace of Cups. Well, we'll see if the Ace of Cups comes out for us. This signals some type of travel or progression. Your ship's coming in, Aries. The three or ones, of course, is fire energy. There is definitely some action being taken regarding this connection. Look, you've got 33, number 33. Someone could be 33 years old. Um, I feel like at the moment, a lot of you are just focusing on career matters. You're focusing on travel, relocation. You're focusing on inner healing. See how that resonates with you. But I feel like right now you're all about yourself. It's like that Beyonce song where I mean myself and I. Me, myself and I. Mm -mm -mm. You know what I'm talking about. The four of ones. And the two of cups. <laughs> the ace of cups. See? I did, I did see it. But that was that card. So I thought that's crazy. I love this for you. I mean, the two of cups, the ace of cups, the four of ones, the four of swords. You've got literally repetitive numbers. How interesting. Three, three. 442. Look up angel number 3344. Someone could be the age difference could be 44 and 33, 23, 24. There's definitely a new beginning in love for you, Aries. There's definitely uh, a lot of unspoken emotion being finally exposed. I mean, it's kind of clear to see that the repetitive theme here. This person is madly in love with you. Whoever this person is, we have no courtier cards to specify it for us, but it's just like. A lot of you have healed from the past so much that you're energetically welcoming in new love or the restoration of the love that you once lost. Um, wow, okay, the night or ones and the moon. Well, you know, you know. Might be dealing with someone between ages of 25 to 35, strawberry blonde hair, brown, green eyes, lighter complexion. With the moon, energy could be a Piscean you're dealing with. On the flip side, I must admit, as good as things get, it goes in phases and it goes in accordance to that other person's moods or it could be talking about your moods as well. The Knight of Wands to me heralds the energy of somebody who is non-committal, especially given the fact that we've got that moon energy next to it. And then we, of course, go into the Queen of Wands, Aries energy. This is your courtier card. This could be talking about you holding some type of secrets as well. This could be talking about you um, wanting the commitment, but also wanting to play the field. You are exuding a vast sexual energy right now, so you're definitely attracting a lot of attention. Um, in the upcoming days with the moon, you must listen to your intuitive gifts and intuition because if something doesn't feel right or you feel like 
you need to heal from a specific situation, then so be it, right? So with this Nine of Pentacles energy, wow, you've got the Sun energy and you've got the Strength energy. Leo might be dealing with a Leo here in particular. Again, Sagittarius, fellow Aries or Pisces is coming up. Leo doubled up, so you might have Leo placements within your primary natal chart. But with this Nine of Pentacles, some of you... It's odd because you want that commitment. You want to devote yourself to somebody, but also you want to spend time by yourself. So it could be a long distance relationship. It could be an, an online relationship. It could be a pen pal relationship that you're engaging, indulging in. Um, there may be some uncertainties regarding this, but something will become clear and it'll make you feel like you're, you're taming the beast. If you feel like this person was a player or maybe you yourself felt like, you know, you're playing the field, you can't really settle. This situation will actually be very much controlled. With the strength card, we know that um, this talks about taming the beast, literally. These are the very, very prevalent saying amongst the tarot community, but really it's, that is the case. It's like from the night on to the strength. I feel like, yes, the sexual chemistry is very palpable. It's very strong between the two of you. Um, I don't know why it's like I see a couple, one person is a bit smaller and scrawnier than the other, maybe a bit shorter. And it could be that the, as a woman, your Aries woman, you are a bit taller than your man. Or maybe they're just a bit um, skinnier in, in their stature. Um, I don't know. That's just, just additional message for double confirmation for some of you. If that is the case, so you know who I'm talking about in particular. If this is resonating with you. But with the strength card, of course, to, uh, the knight of ones above it talks about lust, right? Um, the four of pentacles. There is some secrets that have not been unraveled between the both of you as well. There's definitely some secrets that need... Um, someone's not letting go of a secret someone you might have a secret admirer here you might have somebody watching you from afar you might have somebody spying on you you might have somebody using divinatory means to look into what's going on in your life whether that's them watching youtube tarot readings astrology whether that, that, that's them getting private readings this is what i'm picking up on here so your person is very much in your energy aries the full um, they want a new beginning. They want to take this risk with you, but they don't know when the timing might be ripe to do so. This person is a bit intimidated by you. They may have done something wrong. Or they may feel like you're not interested because you're so focused on yourself. But uh, again, you know, this person may have done something where it said, you remember my finances was a mess. They hate that they hurt you. They try to replace you. But now suddenly they know you're the soulmate. Now soulmate, look, twice soulmate soulmate in love and we did one madly in love twice it's, it's right repetitive messages which is um actually you're the first sign i'm seeing this with so definitely there's this repetitiveness of they're a madly in love with you and they feel like you are soulmates so let's clarify the stone energy for us because the cards are the, the love situation is very straightforward um, if you want to make this work and you are willing to forget this person and move on, then it will work. And if you don't, then you are taking a risk. You're moving forward and, you know, you're going to find somebody else. That's just, it's not an issue for you, Aries. Let's be frank, right? Right. So the sun, you've got the five of cups and the queen of cups. So to me, this could talk about them actually hiding a vast deal of disappointment and sadness because you are the person they are in love with. The Queen of Cups is the person one's in love with, right? Uh, you may have water placement, but that's uh, beside that. You know, you might have um, cancerial water placement. You might be a woman of blonde hair, blue eyes, lighter complexion, double confirmation or dealing with somebody as such. Um, this person hid their love from you. This person is hiding their emotions from you. They're acting like they're playing the field and they couldn't care less. But in reality, behind closed doors, they're very sad. In reality, behind closed doors, they're crying over you. One second, just gonna write this down. Uh, you know, this person may be somebody who can maintain a very firm poker face and act like they couldn't care less. They're very indifferent. They're very nonchalant. And they did that for a while and they screwed you over. And now, you know, they want to come back. But is it too little, too late? I mean, the, the ball is in your court, right? So uh, let's see. What about this four of pentacles? It's nothing. I don't really see. It's funny with the moon energy sometimes and that nighter ones. Beware of any... um health scares in the sense of sexually 
uh, STDs with the moon and that night or one, someone's promiscuity could have gotten out of control, there may have been a scare, I'm not really going to go into that, but with that moon and the night or ones, there's definitely like a promiscuous type of hidden energy that someone could have been playing the field, and I don't know why with this, with this, um, the full energy, um, this woman is riding this very phallic broom, right, so it's just really coming up, like maybe somebody has been careless in who they allow in their energy sexually, and now they're paying the price for it, so see how and then you've got the ace of wands just to clarify that passion and lust and somebody cannot call, cannot keep it in their pants uh maybe this was what was caused the confusion it could have been a taurus in particular it could have been that this person was in a commitment and they can't keep it in their pants and then now it's led to this energy of feeling like they have walked away empty-handed right so there's a lot going on but there's nothing bad going on because nothing i'm telling you now you're not aware of or you didn't have suspicion about, right? You might be looking into tarot card readings just to see what's going on with this person. Keeping them at an arm's length. You're picking up very well that they love you. You get, you'll be getting to know each other. This is the outcome for this reading. So you'll be getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, um, your bond deepens. So you will have the opportunity to get to know this person better. And this may be all taking place uh, between now uh, up to Sagittarius season. So anytime from now to November the 21st is like you taking it slow getting to know this person maybe you're dating around maybe you're giving them another chance uh engagement your your love life ascends to a high level of commitment there's a lot of flirtatiousness it says extend your light-hearted energy to others uh religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing spiritual path so this is a this could be a spiritual connection however you want to sugarcoat it um i don't see much karma for the first time in here at all being inclined so there's i think you've been through all the karmic stuff you've yielded the understanding and the karmic lessons and you uh karmic retributions and karmic rewards the cause and effect is sort of you cleaning the the slate clear with that full energy because you're sitting in your own you sitting in your own you're allowing things to happen as they should you don't chase you attract and i love that for you but you need to free yourself it's time to take back control of your life because very soon let it decide what you want so that it comes to you now there's passion coming allow your heart and soul to sing with joy mm. there's definitely some passionate moments coming like the sexual compatibility is uh through the roof no doubt um, I'm going to draw some channeled messages from your person now just to subsidize this reading a little bit more um, see what they want to tell you what they're feeling so the person on your mind it could be someone separate from this but it says you speak to me through music I want you that was very clear to see of course I hope this card has fitted on my screen. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, press like if you enjoyed this reading. I'm becoming a better person. Yeah, they fucked up for something. I don't know what's happened. Of course, you know better. They definitely feel remorse, regret. Maybe they acted like they didn't. I'm not available. It could be not available because they're trying to distract themselves from this and try to act all big and tough. I hid who I really am from you. You got to know them in a rather uncanny manner maybe find things out that weren't very good something sexually promiscuous about this person you didn't expect that i am grateful for the spiritual lesson and i lost myself for a little while so and it was my fault but I blamed you so yeah they, they with this energy we know that this person definitely has a lot of regrets um but anyhow i hope this was helpful take care now Aries. goodbye